Hi, welcome to She Spice. Things are apparently warming up in Hollywood, and it's not simply one more big name. Quarrel rumors from far and wide suggest that Jim Carrey is genuinely cautioning Matthew McConaughey that he can be the following objective. I'm weary of the privileged insights and the lies. I'm here this evening to blow the top off it to be the informant. It is the secret image of the Illuminati. And if that doesn't shudder down your spine, pause until you hear the reason why Matthew has been spilling a few weighty insights and Jim, who's had his reasonable part of encounters with Hollywood's underside, may back him up. Matthew at any point truly be at serious risk. Has he turned into an objective for standing up? Have you experienced issues with that? Yet I have had minutes where I was in front of an audience getting an honor before my companions in Hollywood. There were individuals in the swarm that I have supplicated with, and when I express gratitude toward God, I see a portion of those individuals, and how could Jim surprisingly be the one offering this guidance? Is it distrustfulness, or is there something they realize that we don't? We should figure out that there is a typical conviction that Hollywood attracts craftsmen with commitments of acclaim and achievement, yet once they've accomplished the work and see the more obscure side of the business, Standing up can mean certain doom for their vocations. Matthew McConaughey has revealed insight into how Hollywood has brutally betrayed some entertainers. In a new talk, Matthew opened up about not letting the injury of being, or on the other hand, as a high schooler, beat him. The entertainer first shared these extreme encounters in his 2020 journal, Green Lights, and talked about them again on Amanda Deaton's digital broadcast of the discussion about the men in Green Lights. The Oscar victor uncovered that he was at 18 by a man while thumped oblivious toward the rear of a van conversing with Deckard in an episode delivered by the Interstellar Star. He said, I'm not going to fear connection since my most memorable experience was that as a variation. No, that is not the way it is. And in the event that I continue, I'm not going to allow it to beat me. Am I rejecting that it happened? No, I'm not rejecting that it happened. He said he picked not to bring that stuff into his life. Or then again, the way that I treat individuals, how I trust individuals, and how I check conditions out the gamble I might take. McCon likewise said later that I got to have some sound relations and have young ladies that I enjoyed also, who preferred me, and we gradually got close also. It was lovely and awkward, what not those things, yet it wasn't terrible like that was. While addressing Decadon, the entertainer reviewed how his late dad James McKay showed him the birds and the honeybees, as well as the significance of the content he's conversing with me. He says child as a male in the circumstance of addressing me about a different relationship. If you at any point feel the young lady, the female waver, stop. He even said this. He goes, you may indeed feel them waver and afterward later you stop. They might go. God help us. Come on, try not to stand by till next time. Mackay added Matthew has shared numerous occurrences that brought up issues on industry's tasks. As per him, there are many individuals who are indeed advancing such stuff, even through their work, and presently later going through everything. He is apparently cautioning Jim likewise to know of such individuals. Jim Carrey has truly faced a few major challenges to uncover the more obscure side of the business. He's put it all on the line, dropping clues about what's truly happening, like how the Illuminati, as far as anyone knows, controls all that and the contents of our lives vehicle. The fact that after he talked, fans were convinced they essentially constrained him into retirement and caused him to vanish, we should be genuine. Jim Carrey has forever been an entrancing person with his peculiar minutes all through his profession. Yet when he begins discussing the business and the entirety of Illuminati, you can't resist the urge to keep thinking about whether he's attempting to give us a look at what's truly occurring. Behind the scenes since Hollywood. Leave fresh insight about Jim Carrey withdrawing from the spotlight has started worry among his companions. This fellow who used to illuminate each room now appears to have gone into self-disconnection, seeming to be a sorry excuse for his previous self since he moved his concentration to craftsmanship back in 2022. It's like he's simply evaporated from the scene. You're assumed to say you're significant, and you're expected to say being all is all going right, and you should say, uh, that you realize anything you dream during an ongoing, interesting appearance at his 62 NB birthday festivity. Recently, Jim Carrey was spotted looking rumpled and practically unrecognizable. 
This has driven companions to step in and offer their help, particularly when at the tales about his battles, with fizzled connections throughout the long term, which appear to have negatively affected him. The star of idiotic and stupider, known for his dynamic energy and comedic splendor, is apparently causing worry among his dear companions because of his undeniably isolated way of life. They're truly stressed over his prosperity as he keeps on pulling out from the public eye, truly do trust in. Appearance force of that sort of stuff, however, I don't accept that any of it is important. You know, um, this making a difference is an is to me on his 62 NB birthday. Saw on January 5th, Jim Carrey showed up lot. Oaking rumpled and scarcely unmistakable, inciting his companions to accumulate around him to offer help as per a source referred to by the public inquirer through Radar Online the Entertainer has been investing energy in Hawaiian and is doing away, showing very little interest in anything Hollywood. Brings to the table for the insider communicated concern, expressing it's a major concern for the numerous people who care about Jim, who's had a few truly harsh minutes these past hardly any years. The source added that Carrie keeps an eye on the hole, up and pulls out, noticing the vehicle's appearance. The insider commented that the previous entertainer appears to have gotten hammered both truly and intellectually. The worries about Jim's prosperity come from his choice to move back from his Hollywood vocation as an entertainer, humorist, and spotlight on seeking after workmanship. In Walk 2022, the Pro Ventura star unveiled to access Hollywood that he was likely resigning from acting. Carrie made sense of, well, I'm resigning. Better believe it likely. I'm overall genuinely troublesome. It depends. Assuming the heavenly messengers bring some kind of script that is written in gold ink that shares with me that it will be truly significant so that individuals could see I may go on in the distance, yet I'm taking a break. He further communicated that I feel like this is the kind of thing you may in all likelihood never hear another V. IP say, as long as time exists, I have enough, I've done enough, and I am sufficient. This change in concentration toward individual satisfaction through creative undertakings appears to have provoked worry among his companions about his prosperity and way of life. Jim Vehicle's venture in media outlets has to be sure been set apart by both achievement furthermore, individual difficulties in spite of his acclaim furthermore, a case for comedic jobs in films like Liar Bruce All-Powerful. The Veil how the Grinch took Christmas idiotic and more idiotic, and the Link fellow, he has confronted troubles all through his vocation. We typically don't get drifters, however, I'm going to go with my impulse on this one saddle-up accomplice. Carrie has displayed his flexibility by likewise taking on serious jobs, getting acclaim for his exhibition in films like Everlasting Daylight, of The Perfect Brain, where he was featured close by Kate Winslet right off the bat in his profession. Carey confronted the difficulties of the business, working under the direction of well-known entertainer Rodney Dangerfield, who assumed a vital part in assisting him with investigating the universe of parody, and, what's more, understanding his likely his move to superfame during the 1000. 990S included outstanding work on the television program in Living Variety, and I shared with him that you have the wonderful persona, the ideal comedic persona. I mean, I have you realize you know I'm modest, and this, however, the no-regard thing gets the center when Jim Carrey left on his excursion into the media outlet. He rapidly understood the impressive difficulties that lay ahead chronicled by the New York Times. The entertainer and jokester confronted an extended and challenging battle to rise to fame over almost 10 years. He devoted himself to performing comedic acts any place he could, endeavoring to be perceived and viewed in a serious way in the business in genuine reflections. Carrie shared that, for a really long time, I used to drive up to Mahal and drive consistently and take a gander at the city and sit and envision myself with this cash and being sought after in opposition to a longing for material abundance. His essential desire was greatness in his specialty, reviewing a vital second at 15 years old when his father got him a gig at a Toronto satire club. Carrie recognized confronting introductory disappointment, getting booed off the stage in a polyester suit that conflicted with the group's inclinations unfazed. He made a rebound two years after the fact with a more bona fide exhibition, leaving the suit for a muddled-haired, interesting approach at. 19 years old, Carey moved his concentration to Los Angeles, energetically improving his abilities until getting the consideration of industry heavyweights, such as Sam Kennison and Rodney Dangerfield Act. 
plus getting desired TV jobs. Jim's excursion to progress was set apart by imposing difficulties and various dismissals in his quest for a profession in media outlets. The obstacles he confronted were obvious in cases. For example, his endeavor to join Saturday Night Live SNL, where he experienced quick dismissal as indicated by Insider's Vehicles tryout tape, for Senel, never at any point made it to the chief maker, Lauren Michaels. Michaels, in an explanation to Vanity Fair, affirmed that he never got the opportunity to actually survey the vehicle's tryout tape. He made sense of someone who was there, saying, I don't figure Lauren would like it, and subscribe SheSpice for more videos.